Hello everyone. Uh, this time we go to a new session of uh, polynomial approximation. Uh, in fact, this is a um, polynomial approximation. It's a uh, kind of the application. I cannot say application. A kind of extension of the derivative. To me, it's derivative. And uh, what's the really uh, concept of the polynomial approximation is a uh, idea that any function can be written as a polynomial form that form will go to the the polynomial we know that is a kind of first they have many items and then every I, the item has a higher power right extra power so this item will go to the nth power so which means very unlimited right so this idea of the polynomial approximation any any function can be written as a polynomial way so you, you may ask why do you like this way I cannot say why but I can I can say why not right this is mathematics right so we just want to uh, to define and prove uh, can can any kind of uh, function written as a uh, polynomial way and uh, and the proof and thinking finally is true and the one who provide this one is uh, is mathematician taylor so we have we call this also taylor polynomial of degree right so what's the taylor uh, polynomial degree you can see like this way so it's a uh, uh, it's it's a sigma notation expression like this way, right? So, but if you written, it's like this way, right? F a, this means the k start from zero, so which means this also k from zero. If the if the zero, which which means just F a, right? If it's a zero prime, uh, if the zero factorial is one, right? So, um. So that's it. So we write it like this way. So this is the uh, nocturnal uh, uh, sigma notation to express this. And if in case a a a here a here a is equal to zero, so we simplify like this way. And this is a Maclaurin series. Maclaurin is another mathematician. So we can write in a function like this way. So it's 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 very special and interesting, right? How can they like writing like this way? So now I will write in a function like this way, and then we will just calculate to see if it's really like this way. Okay. So the function I've written as uh, f x is one minus one over one minus x, and the x should be. Uh, absolutely value of x should be less than 1 okay uh, how to write in like uh, the the polynomial form so we can definitely write written as what fx equals to what uh, I'm writing start from here because it's quite quite it might be quite long right so uh, so here we made a, a equals to 0 so if a equals 0 we can use uh, Maclaurin series, right? So, okay, so a equals zero. So we might write in as what? F a, right? F a, F a. Uh, we're writing of F zero, right? And then plus what? F zero prime, right? Then x, right? Then plus what? F double prime F zero, right? Divide by two and then times x square. Then plus F triple prime then zero then x three and the three factorial. Then plus plus what? F what? Four prime, right? And zero, then x four, and this go to the four prime. So this already have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, 
Okay, I will write in uh, six. Okay, so this will be one, two, three, four, five. Hey, <laughs> I don't, why don't write in numbers five? So okay, just realize. Uh, so yes, yeah, four. Here is five, so zero. Alright, okay. so here is x to the fifth power, and then this is a five factorial, and then then will be what f to the nth prime and the zero over nth prime, right? And it will be what x to the nth power. So we can return f the fx equals to one mm, over one minus x into the form like this way. Of course, it's unlimited way. So uh, let's simplify this. Uh, f zero, f zero says that x takes place of zero is one, right? And then, uh, so first this is the fx prime so here uh I, I i will i will get some kind of uh i will write in some prime first okay because uh uh this might be need some time okay so uh let's first let's first write in some prime uh uh, here, um, f x prime. F x is one over one minus x is what is uh what is one over one minus x square. Am I right? Am I right? And since we will go to five, so I will write in a five here. So x two prime x equals to what? So uh, this will equals to two over one minus x to the third power. How about three prime? Then it will become what? Anyway, this is a basic delivery. If you're not very familiar with delivery, then that's you need to get it first, okay? So this we got what? Six over one minus x to the fourth power. Okay, we need to totally get uh, uh, five. Uh, let me see, huh? Yeah, five first, okay. So f is uh, f to the fourth prime equals to what is equals to twenty four over one minus x to the fifth power. Okay, last one. 5 equals to what? So, I guess it should be very big for a number. Yes, it's really very big. So it's 120, 1 minus x to the 6 power. Since we know this already, so we very quite easy to uh, put them inside. So, uh, so f prime since x is zero, so whatever this should be one, right? So this should be x. And uh, next will be two, right? So two over two as x squared, right? 
and then next one is three prime three prime is six and here six so next to the third power and next one is what fourth prime four times three times two is 24 yeah exactly so x to the fourth power and uh, 24 times 5 120 so exactly fifth power so seems like this way so until x to the nth power so this exactly the formula polynomial approximation of fx this fx is 1 over 1 minus x but they have uh, limitation is x absolutely x the value should be less than 1 okay so we already got this polynomial so i just want to test okay because the x should be what the x should be what x should be absolute value should be less than one so we just set set x equals to one half it's okay right so if x is one half so fx equals to what one minus one minus one half right so it's what one half so one minus one so two so let's see uh if you use the binomial so if it is a uh, if it's close to two okay so one plus what one half plus one fourth plus what plus what plus one eight right plus what one over 16 right plus one over 32 right so this how many one two three four five six so i will write in uh, uh seven okay so others i will not keep on writing so so this one will be what six four right and uh, finally will be uh two to the nth power right so i just based on this one okay this will be very close so this equals to what wait i need this one really need to use the calculator this one really need to get calculator and uh, uh one plus 0 0.5 right and then plus uh 0 0.2 uh this two two five yes one fourth and uh, plus 0 0.125 here remember this one right and then plus and if one over 16 i don't remember i just writing one uh one divided by 16 yeah and then uh plus and uh, one divided by 32 and then plus uh one divided by 64 okay so let's see what's the result the answer will be one point ninety eight forty three seventy five is this is very close right right and this is not finished yet right it's only five eight right this will be unlimited and will be very 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 close to two finally it's unlimited close to two so almost we can say this is equal am i right so really can approve that so you think about it this is a uh this is this is a exciting and a happy moment for mathematics you cannot uh, believe that just a, a simple function you can write in as a um, polynomial way and uh, unlimited and finally they are really really are uh, same or Al almost same okay so this time we just uh, uh, started uh, uh, the polynomial expression and uh, they especially uh, introduced the Taylor polynomial as well as the Amalorian system series okay thank you very much for joining session thank you